Let's start by figuring out how much a single server can serve. We'll scale up our load from 2,000 requests per second to 20,000 requests per second and see what happens with the latency. Here you see load is scaling up to 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, 12,000. And if we look down at our latency graph, we can see the latency is starting to rise. Our 99th percentile latency is now up to nearly half a second. So we're going to scale up our Nginx replicas to compensate. Now we have two Nginx replica servers, and we will see that the latency starts to drop. And eventually, through the magic of time speeding up, reaches a point where it's back to normal. So we've estimated that each Nginx server can serve about 10,000 requests per second. Given that information, we're going to scale up our fleet of servers to be able to handle 1 million requests per second. That's going to be 100 Nginx servers on our Kubernetes cluster. All right, so those servers are coming up online. You can see them coming up there. We're up to 100. Now we're going to scale up our load bots that are also running inside this Kubernetes cluster to provide 1 million requests per second. We're going to scale from 100 to 1 million in increments of 100,000 requests per second. So here we go. You can see the load starting to rise. We're at 150,000 request, requests per second, now at 250,000 requests per second, 300,000 requests per second, 400,000 requests per second, 600,000 requests per second, moving on up all the way up towards 800,000 requests per second, going to jump up to 900,000 requests per second. And in a moment, we'll see it jump all the way up to 1 million requests per second. And as you, there we are at 1 million requests per second. And as you look at this, you can see that the latency has stayed constant since we've scaled up our Nginx in advance. Now let's do that rolling update. Here you're going to see we're doing a, using kube control to do a rolling update from version 0 0.2 of our service to version 0 0.3 of our service. We're going to do an update period of one second. That's a pretty aggressive rollout strategy, but it will help make it a more interesting demo for you since you won't have to sit in for an hour and watch a slow, stable rollout. But what's important to note here in this rollout is that our servers, even while we're in the middle of rolling from one version of our software to the next, Kubernetes ensures that server availability stays at 100%, even when those servers are handling 1 million requests per second. In just a second, our rollout's complete, and that's the end of the demo.